What's going on everyone? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade your uh, applications in iTunes to pretty much any version that you would like. So say for example you recently updated one of your apps and you don't like exactly how it's set up or the new features that have been implemented. So yeah, this tutorial is basically going to show you guys how to downgrade um, your apps in iTunes uh, for your iOS devices. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of course you need to open up iTunes and also you're gonna need your previously um, saved IPAs or your apps that have been saved for that current version which I have saved right here. So when I open this, as you can see, I have all of, well, most of the versions that I have of the apps. So this right here, this um, app or IPA is the very first version of Facebook that uh, Facebook released. So before I actually show you guys how to implement this version of an app into iTunes, I'm going to show you guys what you need to do first to... Uh, get the previous version that is in your, your iTunes library. So, when you're in iTunes and you have an older version of an app inside of your iTunes library, so say for example, um, this basketball app here, say this app has never been updated since it's been in my iTunes library, all I would have to do, or all you'd have to do, is go to one of your devices, right click, and then click transfer purchases. And what that would do is, if you have that app updated on your iOS device, what it'll do is transfer the updated version of the app into your iTunes library, and then iTunes will place the old version of the app um, into your trash can. And then that is where you would grab the old version. So when you, when iTunes throws away uh, the older version of the application, you just go into your trash can, drag out the uh, IPA, put it onto your desktop somewhere, and then go right over here to wherever you have the <coughs> old IPA saved, and then that's when you would implement it into iTunes. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually put the old version of the app back into iTunes. So what you need to do here is find the version of the app that you want and like I said before I'm going to be using the first version of Facebook. So what you need to do is basically it's very simple all you have to do is drag and drop this app IPA into your iTunes library and then iTunes is going to say a newer version of the app is already exists in your iTunes library and would you like to replace it? And you hit yes, I want to replace it. It will replace the old version of Facebook. And then when we go to find it, say on the iOS device, click the apps tab. Wait for it to load. There we go. And then in the search bar, just search for the app that you just uh, replaced and as you can see Facebook is still or is here now and it is the first version rather than the newly updated version so and keep in mind that this only works with iTunes 11 um, iTunes 10.7 will not work with this unfortunately so you must make sure that your iTunes is updated to iTunes 11, which is the most current version, I believe, that was released a few weeks ago. So, but yeah, it's a very... Okay, it's going to look for the iPhone. Anyway, it's a very simple process. So, I mean, it's, it's really useful, actually. So, I recommend you guys doing it for those of you that want to keep all of your app versions and want to downgrade them. I mean, I, it's, a, it's a foolproof way to do this, so hope I get, uh, helped you guys out here. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and thumbs up the video, always appreciate it. And a comment below if you have any questions with this, or if you need help, don't be afraid to ask, I'll go ahead and uh, 
reply to as many questions as I possibly uh, can get to. So, yes, once again, thank you guys for watching, and uh, peace out.